Have you ever wondered how other people perceive you and their first impression of you? Here's what people think of you based on your MBTI. One, the ENFP. Do people always say you're the life of the party? When you're an ENFP, people perceive you to be a free-spirited individual who never rests. Others are attracted to you by your open-minded, approachable, and friendly nature wherever you go. Being the campaigner MBTI, you're good at understanding others. However, it's common for you to start new projects without finishing them, as it's hard for you to focus on one thing when the possibilities are endless. Two, ENTP. Are you the curious one? If innovation is your passion, then you are an ENTP, the debater MBTI. You're someone who thrives on the battle of wits. You're viewed as charming. You crave a greater understanding of the world around you. Rules seem limiting to you as you're a true maverick. However, you tend to see things from a bigger picture, so you may struggle to recall or describe specifics. Three, the INFP. Are you always willing to lend a shoulder when others need it? If you nodded yes, then you're the mediator MBTI. People see INFPs as highly empathetic. Your deep insight makes you stand out from the crowd. INFP is seen as reserved, aloof, and also exhibits high idealism. Having a conversation with you is interesting since you have a broad knowledge of various topics. Four, the INTP. Are you the quiet and shy one waiting to hear about your MBTI? Well, wait no more. You're the thinker MBTI. INTP, you love talking about abstract concepts. It's not your style to push yourself on others, delegate or control anyone. People see you as inventive and having a strong intellect. Your unique perspectives often capture the attention of others. Five, ENFJ. If you are sensitive to others' thoughts and motivations, then you're the giver MBTI. That is ENFJ. You're good at bringing out the best in people by understanding beyond what is being said. Others often see you as respectful, friendly, dependable, and considerate. However, being too empathetic may be a problem because you'll unconsciously take on others' responsibilities. Six. ENTJ, do you desire to get the job done using the fastest possible route? That would make you an ENTJ, the commander MBTI. ENTJs are seen as someone who likes to jump in and take charge of things. ENTJs are viewed as visionaries who always know what needs to be done. On the flip side, you can also be seen as controlling and bossy individuals who make demands without giving others ample time to process. Number seven, the INFJ. Are you extremely conflict averse or a perfectionist to fault? If you are born with the inner sense of extreme idealism, then you are the INFJ, the advocate MBTI. The first impression of INFJs is that they're reserved, caring, and deeply thoughtful. Having a good way with words has always been your best attribute. If you are an INFJ, people perceive you as a great listener. You're complex and may appear contradictory, so it's hard to get to know you. When you sense that your values are not respected, you often withdraw. Eight, INTJ, serious and reserved. That will be the first impression of people for INTJs, the architect MBTI. You're also seen as logical, intellectual, and possess deep insights. You critically examine any information you receive. You have an objective view of things and an innate ability to solve problems and plan for the future. On the flip side, most perceive that INTJs appear to be completely absorbed in their own world, which is not the case at all. Nine, ESFP. Do you always make sure everybody has a good time? If so, you're an ESFP, the performer MBTI. Often the life of the party, ESFPs are fun-loving, spontaneous, and talkative entertainers. Onlookers can sense that ESFPs have an acute awareness of their senses and gravitate towards pleasing sights, sounds, smells, and textures in the environment. Even though ESFPs are usually open and friendly, you tend to be unwilling to take yourself too seriously and can be difficult to get to know. 10, the ESTP. Do you have excellent people skills on par with that of Flynn Rider from Tangled? If you are energetic, fun-loving, and confident, you belong to the entrepreneur MBTI, that is ESTP. You're at ease with your physical environment and eager for action or activity. Others appreciate your knack for being observant of details in your environment. However, people also notice that ESTPs can be too focused on the fun. 11, 
the ISFP. If you love the process of taking in all the sensations around you, then you belong to the artist MBTI, which is ISFP. Initially, you may appear to others as distant and aloof, but you will step in quietly and lend a hand at precisely the right time. You are gentle, unassuming, and empathetic. ISFPs have a strong aesthetic sense and deeply enjoy sensory experiences. You are sensitive to tone, texture, and color. 12, the ISTP. Do you have an intuitive understanding of machines or an astounding talent for fixing things? Then you may be the crafter MBTI. You're just like Tinkerbell. You often spend time on hands-on hobbies like woodworking or crafts. Others perceive ISTPs as logical, adaptable, and efficient. ISTPs value privacy and are unlikely to connect to new people in a typical way. 13, the ESFJ. Is it common for you to play host at events or activities? If you usually take on the concerns of others as if they were your own, you may be the caregiver MBTI. That is ESFJ. It's in your nature to bring order to other people's lives and ensure that their needs are met. Families and traditions hold great importance to you. You are a fan of rituals commemorating favorite experiences such as annual trips. However, people can also perceive ESFJs as extremely sensitive. 14, ESTJ. Do you have a knack for handling projects systematically? Then you are probably an ESTJ, the director MBTI. ESTJs highly value obligations and commitments. Onlookers may see you as someone who seriously takes on evidence over conjecture. You don't mind leading people to achieve shared goals. On the flip side, individuals with this personality type can be reluctant to try new things. 15, the ISFJ. If you go above and beyond to meet people's needs at the expense of your own needs, you are the protector MBTI. When interacting with new people, ISFJs can be reserved and it's uncommon for you to disclose personal information quickly. Being non-confrontational is ingrained in you, but you will become defensive and protective when your loved ones are treated poorly. You also dislike the spotlight. And 16, the ISTJ. If you're an ISTJ, people may see you as someone who is serious, pragmatic, and responsible. As the inspector MBTI, you enjoy practicing consistent habits and an orderly lifestyle. It seems as if you have a procedure for everything that you do. There also appears to be an air of calmness about you. You appreciate predictability and use your past experiences as your life guidance. While we may have special characteristics and qualities that have nothing to do with MBTI, there are specific criteria and features that each MBTI type seems to exhibit. This isn't to say you are confined within rigid personality boundaries or that you cannot share any other traits. The MBTI provides a general framework, but does not limit your tendency to adopt or cultivate your own personality. Similarly, others' opinions of you can often be a reflection of themselves rather than based on objectivity. It's good to take others' views into consideration, but should not be allowed to define you. We hope this video helped you understand more about yourself and others. Feel free to leave a comment down below with your thoughts, experiences, or suggestions. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those out there looking to understand themselves and others as well. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. Thanks for watching.